Hi everyone, so I'm going to be looking at my Ipsy and like the cute bag. So like at first when I saw this, I was like uh, on their website, I was like, that's kind of a lame bag, but like it, it's hollow. Ooh. So that's kind of like a redeeming point. Like, okay, you're a cool bag now. Um, so my first one, I got a uh, pure skin face cleanser. Um, so first aid beauty, they're okay. Uh, like there's nothing that wows me about them. I did get, uh, pore clearing, pore clear black charcoal mask. So this is a peel off mask. So I'll maybe try and test this against the Boshas. Uh, one because I feel like that's like a really popular one out there. I did get a brush so I like that because it's a tapered blending brush. So I always feel like any kind of like crease blushes for blending I really do like different ones and then I just want to kind of come in and show you my makeup look. So um, it's a little hard to see underneath but underneath my eye, I do have green and then kind of pink on top. So with my Violet Foss palette, I did kind of do a watermelon look. And I was like, yes, I love this. Uh, just because I'm someone weird who's like, ooh, this has a theme. Uh, back to my Ipsy. Um, so they have their little card. And like when they're kind of talking about like splash going for a splash I don't get this card really because like she's not going in the water her eyelashes alone would just come off of her face so you're kind of like uh I don't really get how this is your picture that you want to use for it but okay just with their theme right like nothing against the person just if you're going to talk about splashing in the water how do you have someone who's like clearly not going in the water at least put her in a bikini um so this is eco's uh precise smudge proof so it's not going to give you like the tiniest line out there right because i have some of these prior to right so it's supposed to be smudge proof so I'll talk about the other product and then try it out to see if it really is. So from Sundays, a nice nail polish, right? So a nice pretty light blue. So it's kind of your typical nail polish brush and then just applying it on my nail. So it's not one that applies opaque in one coat, somewhat opaque in two coats. So I'm not really a fan of their brush. I think I do like kind of the flatter, thicker brushes just because it's a one swipe and done, but not too bad of a nail color. And as my video goes on, I'll kind of see how long it takes to dry. Going back, right, because they say it's smudge proof, right? When and I've messed up my nail. Got a little too excited. So like not really that much smudge proof because like I don't have to rub that much for it to start to come off on my finger and spread a little bit. It's a little hard to see on camera, but like just don't say you're smudge proof because you're lying. So with my first Ipsy bag, getting kind of like a nail polish, right? Uh, makeup product and eyeliner, um, a brush, a mask and a cleanser. Like I do appreciate that because it's a variety of products. So that's always nice. So going into my second one, uh, free hugs and it's a cactus. So I do think nail polish companies just have a good sense of humor, like kind of like those dad jokes almost. But I do really like this color, like, ah, it's so bright and great and like 
can I just make my body this color? Like, I do really love pink. Um, and again, this has kind of more so the brush that I like. So it's not as big, but it's a thicker, flatter instead of kind of the skinny one like uh, Sunday's had. So just applying this. So it's not really opaque in one coat. So my hands are like incredibly shaky, but like not a bad job for one coat and still kind of being bright. So it is one opaque in two coats. And this is Be Living. If I if I'm saying that right, but like a uh, great color. So I think these ones work well together. So I might do like some kind of ombre with it. Uh, nailness. I did get a healing turmeric mask. So I'm excited to try this. Like turmeric supposed to be really good for your skin. Um, but I've never really tried it. Uh, from the balm, I did get a nude eyeshadow. So I think this is kind of a good crease color. So with kind of like my tapered brush, because it is the end of the day now, I will just kind of go in. Right, so right here. Right, kind of like a nice blending color. And then swatching it. Right. So it's, it's nice. I don't mind it. And then just kind of with the brush, it is nice and soft. And I do think it blends nicely with that. So I have to just do the other side. And life's a beach. <laughs> So I like makeup companies sometimes for their puns. I appreciate it. So with my nail polish, the pink one's kind of almost dry, but the Sunday one isn't. So definitely like the pink color is winning me over. So I got from It's 10, uh, their leave-in treatment light so just kind of spraying it in my hair I do think like, I don't really enjoy the smell that much right I don't know like it just reminds me of like uh no more tangles from like my childhood of like my sister ripping through my hair but I don't know I have a little PTSD from this smell apparently um, but I know like their keratin one, uh, was a good product from this brand. So I'll have to try this out as like a leave-in to see how I like it. And then I did get from Steve Laurent, Laurent, a blush, uh, so I have taken off any blush on my face. So it's kind of like plastic, but a thicker one. It's a good size with a mirror, so that's always nice. So just going in with my blush brush. So sometimes I see these colors, I'm like, oh, that's a horrible color. But then applying them as blush, I was like, that does give you kind of like a nice uh, color, I think. So I like it for a blush. Like it's this nice, like subtle color and things like that. So 
Like with this one, I got kind of like an eyeshadow, a blush, a hair product, nail polish, and a mask. Like that's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good selection, I feel. Um, so kind of like comparing like Ipsy and Top Box, like I feel like even though like this is maybe like twice as much as Top Box, like the product quality that I get from them makes it worthwhile. And then like, I don't know, I've talked about it before. I have a strange addiction for little bags and this just <laughs> buys into it and it's hollow. So, uh, definitely give Ipsy a try if you're really into beauty products and trying new things. Um, if you kind of do like their yearly subscription, then it's kind of something all up front. So, I like it. I think it's worthwhile. Um, so I will kind of test some of these products out and do different videos with them just so it's not so long with things. Um, but thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you have a great day. Bye.